Hello everyone, this is the weekly review from March 1st to March 5th in AP World History as we continued Unit 7 on Global Conflicts. We started the week with writing prompts on an excerpt from Hitler's Mein Kampf. We discussed a quote from the book and connected it to Hitler's foundation of his thoughts. And we also discussed what he felt was the greatest threat to creative Aryans. We reviewed a reading section or a um, homework assignment uh, on how various governments responded to the economic crisis after 1900. In particular, we examined the responses of the United States, Soviet Union, Germany, and Italy, and we compared how democratic governments um, responded to the economic crisis as opposed to totalitarian governments. Our four class focus this week was respect. This includes being engaged in class, emphasizing the benefits and satisfaction of learning, and attempting to complete work in a timely fashion. So students are being asked to reflect on that over the next couple of weeks as to whether or not they are getting um, their assignments done when they are supposed to. Later in the week, we did another writing prompt, which compared Zheng Jiexi to Mao Zedong. We discussed their main philosophies, basically nationalism in the case of Zheng Jiexi and communism in the case of Mao Zedong. We also talked about the relationship to Chinese revolutionary Sun Yat-sen, and we analyzed how both of these gentlemen ended up influencing Chinese history. The next homework assignment was unresolved tensions after World War I. The um, idea was that students would be able to explain the continuities and changes in territorial holdings after 1900. And we focused on League of Nations mandates, the Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity <coughs> Co Sphere, Indian National Congress, and West African resistance to French rule. Essentially, what it came down to, as far as there were some changes that had occurred, but for the most part, those smaller nations that were um, hopeful that they would gain independence and self-determination found that many of the European powers wanted to maintain their influence in those regions, even if they weren't necessarily imperially controlling them anymore. We did an Ed Puzzle as we moved on to World War II. The Ed Puzzle was talking about the major causes of World War II, and uh, it focused on the fact that states needed to secure their resources, in particular their food supply, and it compared how the United States, Germany, the Soviet Union, Japan, and other countries uh, worked towards securing those food supplies. What's going to be happening next as we move forward, we will continue our analysis of Unit 7, Global Conflict. The assignments you are responsible for will be causes of World War II, conducting World War II, and mass atrocities after 1900. We will have the Unit 7 exam uh, coming up at the end of next week on Thursday and Friday. That's it for now. Take care.